Here at Measure Square, we take customer service seriously. We incorporate your feedback and recommendations into our product so it's a best-in-class floor estimating software. Check out some of our partners like Starnet, Bonnets, Fuse, Sherwin-Williams, Flooring Liquidators, Right Rug, and more. With the Measure Square difference, you'll get cutting-edge features based off of real-world customer feedback, efficient workflows that help you get out more bids per estimator, and customer service that works as hard as you do. Hello, uh, Ryan, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi, this is uh, James from Measure Square. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you, James? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Um, before we get started with our presentation here, do you mind if I ask you just a couple of questions? No, go for it. Shoot. All right. Awesome. So I noticed you signed up for our Measure Square Mobile Multifamily Edition uh, demonstration, and I just want to make sure that we're covering the right bases. So this app will help you not only if you're out in the field and need to measure with your laser, like this unit here, we can also capture uh, PDFs and bring them in and set them to scale. So if you get, um, you know, an image like this from like a property manager or, you know, a client and they want you to work off of the PDF that you'll be able to tackle both of those situations. Is that the your workflow? Yeah, it looks exactly like what we need. All right, awesome. So what I'll do is I'll kind of give you um, a little bit of both approaches. That way you can just kind of get comfortable with either side of what you need to do uh, day to day. So the main thing uh, I want to accomplish for you today is to just kind of show you some of the highlights of how the software can help you when you're out there in the field. We're not going to cover every little aspect of the technical side of things, but we'll just go through maybe tracing out a couple of rooms, uh, we'll put in some product, and I'll make sure and show you how we can save you some time. Because um, one of the cool things is we can duplicate these quantities. So, for example, for this unit here, this A2, if we have 15 of these on site, once we have it drawn out, you can actually just swipe over and click on this edit button. And you'll see I have this duplication field. So if we had 17 of these guys out on the site, we can just type in that duplication and the program will give us the quantities for that. So you'll see it says 17 there. And then now if we look at our legend, you'll see, okay, we need 930 square yards um, for the 17 unit A2s and we need um, 8,300 square feet of our LVP for the units. So is that making sense? Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. That's great. So, um, if we did want to bring in a PDF, we would just go down here to our import plan button. Then you can choose the PDF and set it to scale. That's kind of how we get uh, the plans that we have here. And then uh, for this guy, we can actually just trace out directly onto the plan by going here to a little drawing pencil. And you can just go to our free draw mode. And the way this guy works is you just touch down on the screen and you just kind of glide around with your finger to trace out the room shapes. And the program will build out the room there for you. So I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here so we can trace this out. And we'll go ahead and draw this line here. And for those closets, I'm actually just going to go ahead and traced right past those since we're going to be putting that same LVP all throughout the area. And then we can tap on this little close button here. We can label the room. We'll go ahead and call this the, uh, the living space. We'll say done. And now this room has been drawn out and we can go over here to our products and we can just drag and drop over what we need. So in our case, I already have my LVP ready to go on my assignment list, so I can drag and drop that over. And you'll see now I'll get my quantities there. And everything oh, is nice. basically, um, I'm sorry, good. Was there a question? No, nice. That was, that was good. That looks good. Um, so you can drag and drop over your area products. You can drag and drop a wall base as well. Um, so you can see we can also put in doors and assign transitions. So if we wanted to do that, we can just go here to our little widgets button in the bottom left and we can grab our door and we can drag and drop it over onto the wall there. 
you'll see it'll kind of snap into place. And then we can say if it's opening into or out of our room. And then we can even switch that hinge side to make it match the plan. And then we can say done. And if we wanted to apply a transition to that, you can just scroll through your catalog, take your transition material, drag and drop it over, and you'll get your little uh, dashed line on the door frame when you have it applied. So you see how we've got the little uh, brown dashed line there in the doorway? Yeah, I see it. Nice. So that's kind of the, the logic there. You would really just go through and you can draw out the other rooms. You can do wall tile and backsplashes if needed, because as we're working, we're actually building out these spaces in 3D. So you'll see if I go into my 3D view mode, we have a nice little uh, preview of the units, which is always helpful to kind of show off, especially if we're trying to get our property manager uh, to sign off on a quote for like a quick turn job for maybe just this one unit here. Nice. Okay, if you ever did want to uh, work with wall products, you can just select a room. And if you go up here to the top right, you can go to your view options. And if you turn on this wall switch, you'll see now we have access to the different wall elevations. And you can simply go in um, and edit the wall from there. Or you can drag and drop product over. If you just need a, a floor to ceiling design, you can just take your product and glide it over if it was like a shower wall or something. If you want to actually work directly on site, like let's say maybe we didn't have that PDF page to work with, you can also fire up your laser and I can show you real quick how easy it is to draw a couple of rooms with your laser. So if you're not working off of a PDF, you can just go here to the drawing pencil. And if you choose uh, room by size, we'll just start with a rectangular room since that's kind of the most common option, right? You know, like a bedroom or a closet, something like that. Mm -hmm. You can tap here on a distance meter, select your laser from the list. The little blue check mark means you're good to go. And all you have to do is tap on the width field, and it's just like we're jotting down a measurement uh, with a pencil and paper. You just take your laser, shoot it across the room. It'll resize that number for you. It'll be eight foot six in my case. And then we'll go ahead and capture the other dimension on our room here. And you'll see that'll be uh, 11 foot 10 for me here in my office. And then we can go here. We can tap on our little room label. And if this is, say, uh, you know, the office, we can scroll through, tap on that office label. Then we can go here, tap on the done button. And we've got our office space drawn in. And again, you can drag and drop those products over. So you'll see we've got a nice little list here of default items for you to work with. You can also create a custom database. So if you have your top products that you like to work with, you can always go in and set up these templates. You can set up your price points, your estimating style. So I don't want to bore you with all the details, uh, but suffice it to say, when you're working with the system, however you need to calculate your products, you know, if you need to do tile by the carton, um, if you wanted to round up your cuts on your broad loom to uh, simulate it coming off of the uh, the machine there at the shop, you can get all that stuff dialed in, so you'll just be good to go. Is that making sense? Yeah, that's great. That's really useful. Yeah, it's definitely a really handy setup. And again, um, you know, with this multifamily version, that's what's going to let us duplicate the units. And we can also generate our uh, reports with a duplicated unit as a as a breakout. So if we go here to this little reports form, we can choose on this forms option. And you'll see when we go in here, I'll go ahead and say reload so I can bring in all of my uh, my data there. So you'll see this is going to be kind of a high level summary. But if we want to make um, a new form, we can always go in, click on this little plus button. And if you want a by area breakdown, you just choose that from the list here and say create. And you'll see now we're looking at, OK, we've got our times 17 for our A2s. You'll see we have the total amount showing here. And then we have the subtotal by area. So all of the living areas will be 26, 463, all of the bedroom ones. And you'll see as we scroll through, it'll go from the unit A2 to now we're looking at our other area here where we have our common corridor. 
And as we scroll through, you'll see we have our other interior plans. So it's kind of giving us a nice breakout by area so that when we're working with our property manager, they'll see exactly where those totals are coming from. That's awesome. It's great. Yeah, it's a really cool form. And the nice thing about it is you have your grand total here. You can put in your instructions by just tapping on this little button here and choosing your comments from a list. So we could say, you know, maybe there's um, some installation instructions. We can type those in. And you can kind of save those as common um, comments so you don't have to type them in all the time. And then probably the most important part, right, trying to make uh, the best use of our investment in the software is you can actually tap on this little signature field and you can have the property manager sign off directly on the screen. So you've actually got a signature on your quote and then you can go here to the little preview eyeball. It'll give you your document. You can have your company name there, the bill to and ship to info. All of your quantities are going to be broken out. You've got that signed proposal there. And then if you go to this little export button in the top right, you can actually fire that off as an email. You can send it directly to that property manager or their home office. You could also send a copy back to your office or link it up to Google Drive, whatever you need to do as your next step. So it's a very convenient way of kind of closing the deal on site. That's awesome, you guys can do it all, it's great. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the main thing I always like to stress when it comes to these presentations is uh, we'd love for you to take advantage of our two week free trial. Uh, it's really easy to get started with this. You can either go to measuresquare.com and click on a button that will show you what to search for in the Apple App Store. But the easiest way to get up and running with this guy is actually just hop on your iPhone or iPad and just search for Measure Square Mobile in the App Store and you can download your free trial from there. And we'll be happy to help you out uh, with our learning resources, whether it's our free Udemy class or if you want to check out some of our YouTube videos or work with our support team um, via phone or email. We'll be happy to get you up to speed with the app so you can already see the improvements to your process where we can get you that return on investment, whether it's you know, working off of the PDFs directly or maybe the thing that does it for you is getting comfortable with signing off on those uh, quotations on site. We can uh, definitely help walk you through that. And I'll make sure and send you uh, some resources on which Bluetooth lasers we work with um, since we do work with both Leica and Bosch on that. Awesome. Yeah, I definitely want that email and I'm going to sign up, uh, have an iPad, so I'll get that downloaded right away and try you guys out. All right. Excellent. Well, I appreciate your time, Ryan. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you, James. Bottom line is Measure Square estimating software lowers your costs, automates processes, gives you higher accuracy rates, helps improve sales, lower mishaps, and industry leading implementation time. Thanks for watching and sign up for your free trial today.